so we were discussing about the criteria for the convergence of sequences and in this process we have seen two criteria one is the monotonic convergence criteria for monotone convergence sequence but that monotone convergence theorem which is a very wonderful result which gives the convergence criteria for a sequence particular type sequence which are monotone either monotone increasing or monotone decreasing sequence and another criteria which is a general in nature that if a given sequence is given one can find the limit of the sequence and if the limit exists we say the sequence converges if the limit does not exist uh, all goes to infinity or minus infinity we say the sequence diverges but you see in both the cases there is a uh, um, in the first case particularly there is a drawback in the monotone convergence theorem the drawback main drawback is that this result is only applicable to those sequences which are monotonic in nature but the sequence may not always be monotone sequence so in such a case the monotone convergence theorem is not applicable to judge the convergence of the sequence and second criteria which we told though it is valid for any type of the sequence but in identifying the limit itself is a problem is a difficult one so what we want is will there be any criteria which can directly say the sequence given sequence is a convergent one or divergent one without going for the limit and this charge given by Cauchy and it is known as the Cauchy convergence criteria and it is a one of the important result which relates the convergence of a sequence of real or complex number with its Cauchiness. So, in fact, if a sequence is Cauchy then automatically it will be a convergent and vice versa. Now, this is valid in case of the real complex numbers, but when we go for a arbitrary metric space which we have not taken up then the convergence criteria obviously does not help there. So, they will be defined in a different way the convergence of a sequence. Okay. So, we will go on since we have restricted our study only for the real number or complex number. So, therefore, this convergence criteria is very much helpful in getting the result for a nature of the sequence which is convergent or diverging. So, before going with the Cauchy convergence criteria what is the Cauchy sequence? So, we say def first definition of a Cauchy sequence of real numbers. A sequence x n x which is x n of real numbers is said to be is said to be is said to be Cauchy sequence Cauchy sequence if for every epsilon greater than 0 for a given epsilon greater than 0 for every epsilon greater than 0 there exist a natural number or positive integer you can say natural number say n which depends on epsilon such that such that for all m n natural number numbers natural numbers m n greater than equal to capital N which depends on epsilon of course. The sequence of the terms satisfy the following condition this terms of the sequence x n satisfy the following criteria that mod of x n minus x m is less than epsilon. It means a sequence is Cauchy if a x 1 x 2 x n this is a sequence 
of Cauchy numbers, a sequence of real number of complex number. We say this sequence is a Cauchy sequence if for every epsilon greater than 0. So, first you choose the epsilon, then corresponding to this epsilon, one can identify a point x n such that when we take all the terms after this x n on board, the difference between any two arbitrary terms after x n will remain less than epsilon. The distance between x n and x n will remain less than epsilon. All it is in the epsilon neighborhood of one of the say m i fixed then one of the point in this. So, they are very close to each other the difference distance between any two arbitrary point after the certain stage capital N on board the difference is very very small or is less than the given number f sign up. If this happen then we say the sequence is a Cauchy sequence. For example, if we look the sequence say x n is say 1 by n b claim that the sequence 1 by n is a Cauchy sequence. So, it means for any epsilon you get than 0. So, let because if we choose any epsilon because let us pick up choose any epsilon greater than 0 first. Then corresponding to this epsilon one can find a natural number then corresponding to this epsilon to this epsilon greater than 0 one can find a natural number say capital H which depends on epsilon such that such that uh, let us say H is such which is greater than 2 by epsilon. So, H will depend on epsilon we can choose a natural number which is greater than 2 by epsilon then according to the coach, uh, definition this difference must be less than epsilon ok. So, if I choose m n greater than n. So, if we then if we take n and m a natural numbers which is greater than equal to h we have 1 by n is less than 1 by h ok or le less than equal to 1 by h and but h is greater than this. So, it is less than epsilon l y 2. Similarly, 1 by m is also similarly 1 by m which is also less than equal to 1 by h. So, it is strictly less than epsilon l y 2. So, these two are less than epsilon. Therefore, when we take the difference between mod of a, therefore, mod of x n minus x m when n m are greater than h this is nothing but the 1 by n minus 1 by m and by uh, tangular inequality it is nothing less than equal to 1 by n plus 1 by m, but 1 by n is less than epsilon l by 2 and 1 by m is also less than epsilon l by 2. So, this is less than epsilon l for all n m greater than equal to h. It means the difference arbit difference between two arbitrary term of the sequence after this certain stage h on board is less than epsilon. L. So, sequence 1 by n is a Cauchy sequence ok that is one. Now, what is the negation of the Cauchy sequence? The negation of because that will be required negation of Cauchy sequence. If a Cauchy sequence does not satisfy if a, sequ if a sequence x n does not satisfy the Cauchy convert Cauchiness. So, what is the negation of Cauchy? Negation of the definition of Cauchy sequence. Negation of definition of Cauchy sequence. <coughs> Sorry, definition of Cauchy sequence. The negation is like this. The Cauchy sequence says that for every epsilon greater than zero. So, negation will be there exists an epsilon or not and this so there exists a natural number. So, we can say that uh, for all every natural number h then for all natural number h. So, there will be a natural number m and n which are greater than h and satisfy this condition ok. So, we can say the negation like this there exists 
there exist epsilon are not greater than 0 a small number epsilon are not greater than 0 such that such that for every natural number h for every natural number h there exist there exist for every natural number a there exist exist uh, say at least one n which is greater than h and one m and one m at least one m which is also greater than h such that the difference between the terms of the sequence x n and x m is greater than or equal to epsilon naught. Okay? Then this will be a negation of the definition of Cauchy sequence. It means if you want to show the sequence is not Cauchy, then this criteria must be satisfied. For example, if we take this um, sequence, say x n is the sequence like 1 plus minus 1 to the power n this sequence. So, then we claim that the sequence x n is not Cauchy this is our claim it means this condition is not satisfied. So, let us pick up the epsilon naught. Okay? So, let us choose epsilon naught equal to 2 there exist an epsilon naught we take epsilon naught then since the sequence x n is such which goes to 2 if n is even and goes to 0 if n is odd. So, if we take the n as even and n plus 1 becomes odd. So, difference between these two will be 2 which is epsilon naught. So, in fact then for every for any then for any h natural number h we can choose we can choose an even number n greater than h and then m let m is n plus 1 which is also greater than h we get mod of x n minus x m is nothing but what when n is even the x n comes out to 2 and when m which is n plus 1 odd so it is 0 which is exactly same as epsilon naught. So, this satisfy the convergence negation of the definition of Cauchy sequence therefore, sequence x n 1 plus minus 1 to the power n this sequence is not Cauchy. Okay? The significance of the Cauchy sequence is the significance of Cauchy sequence lies in the assertion lies in the menthol in the assertion. The assertion is that a, a sequence is Cauchy a sequence a sequence of real number x n of real numbers is Cauchy if and only if it is convergent convergent if and only if it is convergent. So, that is the main item that if a sequence is Cauchy then had a, it has to be convergent and if a sequence of real number is convergent then it will be Cauchy. So, this is the main result which we will uh, show it here and that is why the exist uh, the um, definition of the Cauchy or Cauchy sequence plays the vital role in the set of set of real numbers system of the real numbers. Okay. Uh, Let us see uh, the first lemma which says 
which is used say lemma 1 okay if x which is x n is a convergence sequence is a convergent sequence of real numbers then the sequence x is Cauchy is a Cauchy sequence. So, this is the first result which we want to show that every convergence sequence is a Cauchy sequence. The proof of this is very simple. Suppose, suppose limit of the x n as n is x, because it is a convergence sequence. So, limit will exist and suppose this limit is x. Then by definition of the limit for given epsilon l greater than 0, there exist there is a natural number there is a natural number say n 1 which depends on say epsilon l 2 such that if we take n greater than equal to n 1 depends on epsilon l 2 then mod of x n minus x is less than epsilon l by 2 let it be 1. Okay. Now, if we take now so now if we take another number n 2 we take n 2 which is greater than or equal to say n 1 depending on say epsilon l 2 and if we choose n and m greater than or equal to n 2 then obviously for this particular n 2 this result is also valid because this is true for all n greater than n 1. So, the if we take uh, n, uh, n which is greater than n 2 that will also be satisfied because it is greater than n 1. So, it will be satisfied. Then we have mod of x n minus x m apply the time this is less than equal to x n minus x plus x m minus x. Now, this is less than epsilon l by 2 this is less than epsilon l by 2 for all n m for all n m greater than n 2. Then in that case the difference between n x n minus x m is less than epsilon l. So, this shows uh, that but epsilon l is arbitrary any choose any number we can choose therefore, it follows that the sequence x n is a Cauchy sequence is a Cauchy sequence. So, that is what we wanted to do. Okay. Okay. Now, as we have seen that a convergence sequence is a bounded sequence and we have seen that every convergence sequence is a Cauchy sequence. So, basically uh, that uh, we are going to show this also that every Cauchy sequence is also bounded sequence. Okay. So, that will be the next result is lemma 2 says that a Cauchy sequence of real numbers of real numbers is bounded. So, the proof is just based on the similar lines as we have done it in case of real. So, what we do is we take the sequence x n which is a Cauchy sequence since uh, Cauchy criteria is satisfied. So, applying the Cauchy criteria you can date the sequence x n is dominated by a certain number after a certain stage and for the remaining one finite sum take the maximum value. So, that is what 
So, let x be a proof, let us see the proof is so let our sequence x which is x n is a Cauchy sequence of real numbers. So, by definition, so by definition for f sin any f sin greater than 0. So, if we take f sin r let f sin r is equal to 1. So, corresponding to this f sin r there exist a natural number this is sign for there exist natural number h which depends on f sin r f sin r means 1 such that such that for all n greater than equal to h the difference between x n minus x h is less than 1 because m we can choose. So, m is h. So, anyway this implies that the sequence x n is less than 1 plus mod x h for all n greater than all equal to h by modulus because if this is greater than we can just take it or less than greater than equal to mod x n and then. So, basically this is mod x n mod x n is less than this ok let it be 1 and then further you choose capital M as the maximum value or supremum value of mod x 1 mod x 2 mod x x h minus 1 and then 1 plus mod x h. We can also use the maximum. In fact, supremum I have not defined because these are finite number. So, we can change this by a maximum also maximum term in a state of supremum that is ok. Uh, we can also take this maximum. So, when you take the maximum of these two suppose m then what happens the all the terms of the sequence x n will be dominated by m and this is true for all n. So, this shows the sequence x n this sequence is a bounded sequence. Boundary sequence of real numbers. So, every Cauchy sequence of real number is bounded. Let us see the converse part and converse part will prove the Cauchy convergence criteria that is complete. So, what uh, the lemma 3 says uh, uh, um, lemma 3 or you can say every Cauchy sequence every Cauchy sequence of real number of real number every Cauchy sequence of real number is convergent. So, combining first and second Cauchy sequence of real number is uh, bounded and uh, sorry Cauchy sequence of the real number is already we have seen a convergence sequence real number is Cauchy and if we prove the Cauchy sequence every Cauchy sequence is convergent then we can go for the Cauchy convergence criteria ok. So, let us see the proof of it. Suppose we have a sequence x which is x n is a Cauchy sequence b a let b a Cauchy sequence of real numbers of real numbers ok. Now, this Cauchy sequence by uh, previous result a Cauchy sequence of real number is bounded by lemma 2 if you see every Cauchy sequence of real number is bounded. So, by lemma 2 it is a boundary sequence. So, by lemma 2 it is a bounded sequence of real numbers and by Bolzano Resta's theorem says if a sequence is bounded then it must have a convergence of sequence. 
So, by Bolzano Resta's theorem, by Bolzano Resta's theorem says that there is a there is a subsequence x dash subsequence x dash say equal to x n k x suffix n k of x x that uh, by version there is a subsequence x dash that converges to the sum real number x star real number x star sum real number x star. Now, if I prove that our sequence x n also converges to the same number x star then result is complete. So, what is required to prove is that the sequence x n will converge will also converge to x star this is our problem to solve. Okay. So, let us see how to now what is given the sequence x n is a Cauchy sequence this is given. So, since sequence x n is a Cauchy sequence. So, by definition of Cauchyness for given epsilon l greater than 0 there is a natural number there is a natural number say n 1 depends on epsilon l such that for all n and m greater than all equal to n 1 uh, say epsilon l by 2 let us take the epsilon l by 2 because we will need further uh, epsilon l by 2 n 1 we have such that for all n we have the difference between x n minus x m is less than epsilon l. Let it be 1. Okay. Now, the subsequence x n k is a convergent subsequence converges to x star. So, by definition uh, again apply the definition of convergence sequence which has a limit x star. It means limit of x n k when k tends to infinity will is nothing but x k x star. So, since x n since the limit of this x n k when k tends to infinity is given to be x star. Okay, this is given. Uh, we have got it, is it not? So, by definition of the limit, we can say uh, for given uh, for the same epsilon l, for epsilon l greater than zero, which is the same epsilon l, there exist <coughs> there is a natural number. say n 2 which is suppose greater than all equal to n 1 which depends on epsilon l by 2 such that uh, n 2 and such that this n 2 where where uh, uh, n 2 greater such that this n 2 belongs to this set n 1, n 2, n etcetera. This set means we are choosing the positive integer from a sequence n k. So, there exists a natural number n 2 from this set which is greater than equal to n 1 such that mod of x n 2 minus x star is less than epsilon l y 2 because this is difference of this can be made as small as we please. So, when k is sufficiently large it goes. So, we can choose the n 2 which is in, in this says greater than n 1. So, that this condition is satisfied. Second, okay. Now, consider and this is true for what? Uh, this is uh, okay. this less than s. 
now further further this n2 is greater than or equal to n1 which depends on epsilon l by 2 so from 1 the result is also valid when you replace m by n2 so from 1 from 1 we can say we can say the result mod of x n2 minus x n is less than epsilon l by 2 for all n <coughs> greater than n2 depends on epsilon by 2 okay for all n because m i can choose to be n2 now consider now consider mod of x n minus x star now this is less than equal to mod of x n minus x n 2 plus mod of x n 2 minus x star and then this will remain less than epsilon l by 2 plus epsilon l by 2 for all n which are greater than all equal to n 2 depends on epsilon l by 2 because both the conditions 1 and 2 are satisfied by this. So, what is that the limit of x n is also n limit of x n and n tends to infinity is also x star this shows the Cauchy sequence is convergent because epsilon is arbitrary since epsilon L is arbitrary. So, once it is arbitrary we say limit of this ok. Therefore, the sequence x n which is x is convergent. Now, this lemma 1 and lemma 2 and 3 if we combine this uh, sorry 1 and 3 if we combine we get the result which is known as the Cauchy convergence criteria. Cauchy convergence criteria and that is very in important result. What this criteria says a sequence of real numbers a sequence of real numbers is convergent is convergent if and only if if and only if it is Cauchy sequence it is a Cauchy sequence ok and this proves the result. So, combined the lemma uh, say this lemma 3 every Cauchy sequence real number is convergent and then lemma 1 that x convergent sequence of real number then lemma 1 and lemma 3 will give. So, lemma 1 proves lemma 1 and lemma 3 leads the following Cauchy convergence criteria ok. Now, let us see few examples we are we can use this Cauchy convergence criteria to test whether the given sequence is a convergent one or not where it is difficult to identify the limits. For example, if we take define the sequence x n is suppose a sequence x n is defined as x 1 first term is 1 second term is 2 and there is a relation between the term after 2 onward after second term onward the relation is like this that x n can be obtained as a average of x n minus 1 and x n minus 2 by 2 average of. So, after second term onward third term will be obtained as the sum of the uh, third term x 3 can be obtained as a sum of what x 1 plus x 2 by 2 four term like this way. So, this sequence this is 2 for this is defined for n greater than 2 ok. Now, this sequence if you find out the x n by simply 
choosing x1 is this x2 is this then x3 x4 and so on then what we see that this sequence is basically all the terms of the sequence are bounded and bounded by 2 because that i think this result we have already seen in the first uh, earlier one because this is a monotonic decreasing uh, when n is odd or decreasing when n is even like that way so but it the all the terms cannot exceed by 2 and below it is always be greater than 1 so it can be easily it can be easily proved that all the terms of the sequence x n are lying between 1 and 2. In fact, it was shown earlier, shown earlier okay, by choosing uh, decreasing and increasing odd terms and even terms separately and they are dominated by 2 n. Okay. But it is not a monotone sequence, but the sequence is not monotone, but sequence x n is not a monotone sequence. It is even an odd terms are monotone, it is even n odd terms, but as a sequence is not monotone, some terms are coming down then up and like this. So, as a whole the monotone sequence is not there. So, you cannot say the limit exists, because when you say it is monotone then only the limit will be you can say dominated by 2 bounded, but here it is not a monotone sequence so you cannot choose anything <coughs> about this. However, it is a Cauchy sequence however, however it is a Cauchy sequence. The reason is because if we start with this x n minus x n say where m is greater than n let let m is greater than n consider mod x n minus n. now let us see this is less than or equal to what x n uh, x m x n minus x n plus 1 because n is less than m then x n plus 1 minus x n plus 2 like this and then our last term will be this. Okay. Now, this will be equal to 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 to the power n up to 1 by 2 to the power m minus 2. Why? The reason is because if we look this term x 1 by induction, induction one can show that mod of x n minus x n plus 1 this is exactly same as 1 over 2 n minus 1. 2 n minus 1. Okay? This can be said and this is 2 for all natural number n belongs to natural number n. It can be tested for n equal to 1 for n is equal to say 1 what happened mod of x 1 minus x 2 x 1 is giving to be 1 x 2 is giving to be 2. So, it is basically 1 which can be written as 1 to the power 0 for n is equal to 2 if we take then you take x 2 minus x 3 x 2 is 2 and what is x 3 x 3 from here is the average of when n is 3 it is x 1 plus uh, x 2 by 2 x 1 plus x 2 by the 1 plus 2 by 3 that is 3 by 2. So, this will be equal to 4 1 by 2 which is 1 over 2 to the power uh, 2 minus 1. So, suppose this is 2 for n. So, suppose it is 2 for it is 2 for n 2 for n then m then what we get is 
we are taking mode of mode of xn m minus x m plus 1 this is given to be 1 by 2 to the power m minus 1. So, consider now mode of x m plus 1 minus m plus 2. So, that will be equal to what? Now, x m x m plus 1 this is equal to x m plus 1 minus x m plus 2 if I write then this is equal to what? x m plus 2. So, x n x m plus x m plus 2. So, m plus 1 by 2 and that is nothing but equal to uh, x m plus 1 minus x m by 2 and that will be equal to according to this it will be half of this half 2 to the power m minus 1 that is half of 2 to the power m like this. So, it can be proved this way we like this. So, by induction we can show this result. Now, use this result here I use this result here and then once I use there then you can take uh, common. So, 1 upon 2 to the power n minus 1 if I take common then you are getting 1 plus half up to 1 over 2 to the power m minus n minus 1. Now, this is the part of the geometric series. In fact, geometric series is 1 plus half plus half square and so on and infinite terms are there where the sum is if you make the sum a over 1 minus all that is 2. So, this is strictly less than 2 over 2 n minus 1 that is equal to equal to 2 over 2 to the power n minus 2. So, what we get from here is therefore, mod of x n minus x m is less than 2 to the power 1 upon 2 to the power n minus 2 and this is true for all n for all n uh, for large n when m is greater than all equal to n ok this one. Now, if I choose any f signal given any f signal greater than 0 again any f signal if I choose n if n is so large, so large that 1 by 2 to the power n is less than f sin r by 4. And if we take m to be greater than or equal to n, then what happens? The mod of x n minus x m is less than. This entire thing we want less than f sin r by 4. So, basically it is less than f sin r and this is less than f sin r for all m n greater than equal to capital N some integers n. Therefore, this is a Cauchy sequence. So, this implies sequence x n is a Cauchy sequence. Okay. Once it is Cauchy therefore, the sequence x n is convergent. Hence, without calculating the limit one can go the sequence is convergent for it. Similarly, if it is not Cauchy, then one can show it is a diverging sequence. For example, if we take the sequence say the sequence one plus one by two plus one by n, this sequence that is a sequence H n where h n is the sum of this. Now, we claim that this sequence is diverging one. So, obviously, it if it is not Cauchy then it will be diverging because the every uh, Cauchy sequence has to convergent. So, consider this thing now consider h m minus h n. Okay. When you take h m minus h n, then what you get? You are getting from here is 1 over n plus 1, 1 over n plus 2 and then 1 over m, where m and n, m is greater than n 
and this result is true for all n belongs to capital N. Okay. Now, this one is the lowest term is 1 by m is it not 1 by m. So, it is greater than and total number term is m minus n is greater than this number which is greater than say uh, equal to 1 minus uh, this is equal to 1 minus n by m 1 by n. Now, m and n are our arbitrary number because one can choose m and n integers. So, I choose m n choose m to be equal to 2 n. Then what happens this is this h 2 n minus h n this difference is greater than half and this is true for all n greater than capital N after a certain stage. So, this sequence cannot be Cauchy sequence. So, the sequence is not Cauchy h n is not Cauchy. So, once it is not Cauchy, it means the sequence h n is not convergent. So, it is diverging that is what is and this is known as the harmonic series which we will come later on the discussion for for it. Okay. Now, there is a another type of the sequence which we call it as a contactive type sequence. So, uh, contractive sequence. A sequence x n a sequence x is x n of real numbers a sequence x n of real number is said to be contractive is said to be contractive type or contractive sequence if there exist there exist a constant kept c we are c lying between 0 and 1 such the strictly less greater than 0 strictly less than 1 such that such that mod of x n plus 2 minus x n plus 1 this mod of x n plus 2 is less than or equal to c times of mod x n plus 1 minus x n and this is true for all natural number n okay this it means that sequence is like this that if we take the difference between two consecutive terms of the sequence say this difference then this difference cannot exceed by the difference of the previous one that is a c constant times uh, is always be less than equal to some number which is less than this because c is less lying between 0 and 1. If I take c equal to 1 then only it is equal to. So, it is less than equal to 1. So, it keeps deep differences keep on reducing keep on reducing for that. Now, what this result says which is really interesting the result is every contractive sequence contractive sequence is a Cauchy sequence every contractive sequence is a Cauchy sequence and therefore and therefore is convergent okay <laughs> now again we will use the similar type of tricks as we did earlier that first you make this uh, difference x n uh, minus 2 and so on like this uh, prove it uh, in fact it, to prove this thing I just give the hint hint say that first you show this part x n plus 2 minus x n plus 1 this will be less than or equal to c times 
mod x n plus 1 minus x n again apply this. So, it is less than c square mod x n minus x n and continue this. So, finally, what we are getting is finally, you are getting less than equal to c to the power n x 2 minus x 1. So, this is coming like now consider mod of x n x m minus x n and when you break up into the parts mod x m minus x m minus 1 up to mod x n plus 1 minus x n then substituting these values and finally, you will get this thing will come out to be c to the power n minus 1 1 minus c m minus n divide by 1 minus c and then x 2 minus x 1, but c is lying between 0 and 1. So, this part will tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. So, it is a Cauchy sequence. So, Cauchiness. Okay, prove it. Now, <coughs> there are only one result which I will show for the uh, divergence sequence. This result is very uh, useful for the diverging. Let x n and by n be two sequences of sequences of positive real numbers. positive real numbers and and suppose that for some l which is real belongs to a and positive positive we have limit of this x n over by n as n tends to infinity is l then limit of this x n over n is infinity if and only if if and only if limit of by n is infinity. Okay. The proof is very simple. This is given. So, from 1 we say for given f sin l greater than 0 there exist an n such that depends on f sin l such that mod x n by n minus l is less than epsilon, but epsilon I choose to be L by 2. So, it is less than L by 2 and if I open this way we get from here is half L is less than x n y by n is less than 3 by 2 L when positive L. Now, if we multiply by y n then what happen? This implies that half L into sequence by n is less than equal to x n less than equal to 3 by 2 L into by n. Now, these are finite. So, if x n by n goes to infinity, x n will go to infinity. If x n goes to infinity by n, so the result follows. That is all. Thank you very much. Thanks.